Hi, in this tutorial I will show you how to create this fur in Blender. You can use this tutorial to create different types of hair. I created a creature beforehand and am using Blender 4.2 beta and also choose Eevee. If you want to know about this new Eevee, I mean Eevee Next, you can watch the tutorial here. Also, the link is in the description. Initially, if you are using the subdivision surface, set it to zero, it's very heavy. If you are unfamiliar with displacement, you can watch the tutorial here. Ok, everything is good. Next, I need to move on to the particle section. Then, let's click on the plus button to create a particle system and select hair. This is supposed to be hair, but it looks more like thorns. I need to modify it a lot. In the render settings under curves, I need to change the shape to strip. You can see that the start and end points of each hair have their own size. In the emission settings, the number is set to 1000, which indicates the number of hairs. Let's increase it. There are a lot of hairs and this can reduce performance. Let's revert it. The next thing is length. Let's increase that as well. It's too high for the fur I want to create. This is better. Actually, I want to apply hair to both the top and bottom parts. A higher segment value results in smoother hairs and more vertices. A value of 5 is good. To simulate hair movement and physics, you'll need to use hair dynamics. If you'd like a tutorial on this, feel free to mention it in the comments. Render part to find the render attribute required at render time, while the viewport specifies the viewport attributes. Steps controls the smoothness level of the hair. Let's set it to 5, similar to the segments, and apply the same change to the viewport. In the children, you can specify how many child hairs each parent hair can have. Interpolated can result in better children. Each hair now has a cluster of hairs around itself. 10 is chosen for each hair, but 100 is selected for render time. It's too high. Let's change the viewport to 100 and see what happens. Oh, uh, that's too much. It's very heavy. Let's revert it for now. I'll change it later. Uh, you can also adjust the length here. The seed determines the placement of hairs. By changing it, you can create a new arrangement. I will ignore some specific fields. They're not important as much as others. Parting changes the direction of the child hairs relative to their parent. The direction has been changed, as you can see. Clump will curve the children towards their parents, like this. A negative value can separate hairs, similar to plants in a field. You can use curves with use clump curve to define the shape of the clumps. Roughness adds waves to hairs. You just need to adjust the uniform value. Some small waves have appeared. Let's increase it further. As you can see, besides the waves, the size has also increased. I don't need this value. You can adjust the size of the waves using the size value. Let's start by increasing the uniform. As you can see, it gives me more waves. The endpoint can create small waves. Random is very useful for creating four shapes because it generates random waves. The size and threshold fields can adjust the intensity of the waves. Let's turn off roughness for now. I'll activate it later. Kink creates predefined shapes. For example, let's choose wave. With this option, I don't need to adjust the roughness to achieve a wavy shape. This is another shape. You can increase the intensity using the amplitude field. 
The other fields have a minor impact on the final result. You can experiment with them. Here's the one of the most important section. You can change the size of each hair. The endpoints of the hairs are too high. I need to reduce them. Strand shape can change the length and the next field can adjust the endpoint size. As you can see, it now looks more like hair than before. The tip is the size of the start point. Now I need to apply the fur to the bottom and top parts of the body. First, I need to disable the particle because it's heavy to process. Next, go to the data section. In the vertex group, press the plus button. I can paint a specific area on this vertex group. Let's rename it. To paint on the group, I need to select weight paint mode. Press Z to switch to solid mode. UI elements are disabled. I need to enable them. Press N where you can select the radius. Blue areas indicate a value of zero or are masked. Higher weights mean more opacity. As you can see, it's red. It also has specific areas with yellow and green colors. I just need to paint where I want to apply the fur. If you want to remove specific red areas, you can set the weight to zero. I can fit some areas by setting the weight to zero and reducing the strength. Okay, now let's paint on the top area. Okay, done. Now I need to go to the particle section and enable it. In the vertex group section, I need to assign the created group to every field. As you can see, fur is applied only to the painted areas. Each field represents a specific aspect of the hair, such as controlling roughness and more. You can see the hairs are short in the specific painted area. Next, I can modify the hair using particle edit mode by selecting it here. Here you can brush on the parent hairs. Press N to open the brush settings. Past steps determine the smoothness level of the hair in edit mode. 6 is good. Radius controls the brush size, while strength determines the brush power. Let's discuss the defect field. Ensure the brush tool is selected first, then brush on the hair. As you can see, the hair stops moving when it collides with the body within the specific distance. Now let's disable it. Currently, the hair can go anywhere. If I change its value to 3, the collision distance increases. Okay, let's revert it back. You can smooth out the hair using the smooth brush. Or you can add more parent hairs using this brush. It applies symmetrically because mirror X is active. Using the length brush, you can reduce the length. And the puff brush does exactly what it sounds like. You can remove some hairs with the cut brush. Weight can adjust the effect of each hair. Okay, let's move the hair in the direction we want. Do it with attention. Incorrect directions can ruin the entire shape. Okay, let's go back to object mode. Press Z and choose rendered. It's good, but I need to increase the number of children. I think 50 is good. Now I should reduce the endpoint size. Okay, this is good. Now I need to add roughness. The hair is too smooth. 0.1 is good. Random can be very helpful. 
here. It helps create a fur-like shape. I've chosen wave for the kink section and it can be very helpful. I need to increase the length of the hair a little. Let's jump into the particle edit mode. I need to use the length tool and I should press shift to increase the hair length. Alright, let's switch back to render mode. We can also add more vertex paints for other areas. Also, you can create more hairs using the plus button. There are no limitations. Or you can copy the hair to other objects. The result is good. I will upload a tutorial on how to create the hair material as well. Rendering in real time is very fast and the result is good. But you can switch to cycles. It can give you better quality, but be aware that hair can be very heavy for render using cycles. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you have any questions or ideas, feel free to share them in the comments.